Are you wondering what the best Android phones are for this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of the short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. Hey guys, it's 7 Top Rated, and in today's video, we're going to check out the 5 best Android phones on the market. This list was made based on our personal views, and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be sure to check out the description below. One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Google Pixel 4. If you're a shutterbug, then you most likely have heard of Google's Pixel line, regarded as the phones with one of the best cameras on the market. Pixel 4 is Google's latest, and its dual camera system is excellent. Google completely changed the design of the Pixel 4 with an aluminum rail around the edge and painted black metal, rounded simply with a matte finish. That helps significantly with grip, but also makes it stand out. The rails are black whether you have the black, orange, or white model. All three colors have Gorilla Glass 5 on the back and are fully waterproof and dustproof, with an IP68 rating, which means it can survive for up to 30 minutes in water at a depth of up to 1.5 meters. Performance-wise, the Pixel 4s 5.7-inch 1080x2280 pixel 19-to-9 aspect ratio OLED display is a quality panel. It runs at a maximum refresh rate of 90Hz too, which means super smooth scrolling and gaming, though the phone will adopt this refresh rate during the day to save on battery life. Furthermore, the camera remains one of the best on the market, and the main 12-megapixel f1.7 camera has been joined by a telephoto camera to help with portrait mode and zooming. The pictures it captures are gorgeous, with loads of detail and lovely colors. You can also use Face Unlock as authentication, which works similarly to Apple's Face ID. And Google also added a slew of sensors that let you wave your hand to trigger certain functions, like switching tracks or snoozing alarms. Plus, get more done with your voice using Google Assistant, which is the easiest way to send texts, share photos, and more. The Pixel 4's biggest downside is battery life, which can barely last a full day if you're a heavy user. If that's a problem, opt for the bigger Pixel 4 XL since it has a beefier battery. To conclude, Google Pixel 4 offers powerful hardware, innovative software that actually makes your life easier, and the best cameras you'll find on a smartphone, and it should be a serious contender for you. At number 4 is the OnePlus 7T. The competitively priced OnePlus 7T runs Android 10 out of the box, has three rear cameras that capture excellent photos a lightning-fast processor, and a smooth 90Hz display. Design-wise, the OnePlus 7T is roomy. The 6.55-inch screen is flat and wrapped in a familiar soft-touch glass. Housed in that glass is an all-new camera module. Volume buttons occupy the left edge, while the power button and signature notification switch are housed on the right. On the bottom, you'll find a speaker, USB-C port, and a dual-SIM card tray. It doesn't have a water resistance rating, though OnePlus claims it's splash-proof. The 70s 90Hz 1080p AMOLED display is super bright, whilst being relatively power efficient thanks to its lower pixel density, and has a butter smooth 90Hz scrolling. Every time we switched back to a high refresh rate display, we wondered how we'd ever done without it. The OnePlus 7T has three cameras on the rear. The main camera is the 48 megapixel Sony IMX586, which pixel bins images to 12 megapixel for better light gathering. The wide camera is technically a 13-megapixel sensor, but it produces 12-megapixel images. The third camera is a 2x telephoto lens. Unfortunately, there is no optical image stabilization in the telephoto lens, so you'll need to hold a little more steady when using that shooter. The telephoto lens is 12-megapixel. The other hardware feature keeping the device running quickly is the UFS 3.0 storage. 128GB is the only storage, but we think this will be totally fine for most users. We like that there's very little bloatware on this phone. OnePlus wisely relies on Google's apps and Google Assistant, rather than trying to reinvent and duplicate everything like Samsung does. The phone also supports Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, and Wi-Fi 5, which is useful. To conclude, the OnePlus 7T brings all the best features from the OnePlus 7 Pro such as the 90Hz display and a great triple camera system, and is one of the best mid-range Android phones on the market, and would make a great choice. At number 3 is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. The Galaxy S20 Plus is the best mix of high-end features and price in Samsung's S20 lineup, 
offering a gorgeous 120 Hz display, impressive cameras, and 5G in a slick design. Let's take a look. Our first impressions of this display are really good, with typically punchy colors and deep blacks. The edges of the phone's Infinity display aren't as steeply curved as the edges were on the last three Galaxy S handsets. However, the S20 Plus's rounded frame and camera in-screen aesthetic still make it instantly recognizable as a Samsung product. The S20 Plus comes in three colors, Cloud Blue, Cosmic Gray, and Cosmic Black. On to performance, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus's 6.7-inch AMOLED display is sharp and vibrant, with WQHD Plus resolution, 3200 by 1440. Most phones operate at 60 Hz display, meaning the screen refreshes 60 times per second. But on the S20 Plus, you can opt to up this to 120 Hz. As for the camera, the S20 Plus has a respectable 3x optical zoom combined with a 64 megapixel sensor that enables some truly neat close-in photography. Features like the single take AI make it quick and easy to capture multiple photos and video with a single tap. Zoom in close even from 100 feet away and capture crisp images at night even without flash with bright night mode. Plus, you can share your content in real time with double tap sharing and get hours of power from minutes of charge with super fast charging. To conclude, the Galaxy S20 Plus could be your best two to three year investment in an Android phone. That's important. We shouldn't just be thinking of the networks we have right now, but what the situation will be 18 months from now. The Galaxy S20 Plus sets you up to succeed in the multi-band 5G future, making it worthy of our choice. At number two is the Huawei P30 Pro. If you're happy to live with Huawei's version of Android, the P30 Pro is a fantastic flagship that packs in enough to make it just about worth its higher asking price. Design-wise, the overall aesthetic is one of premium styling, and as well as looking good, it feels classy in the hand. You'll find glass on both the front and the back of the device, each sloping slightly and meeting in a rigid metal frame. The 6.4-inch OLED display stretches nearly edge to edge, with the front camera nestled in a tiny notch at the top. The use of glass has its advantages, not only for giving the phone that glistening finish, but it also allows for wireless charging. Huawei has done exceptionally well in terms of performance by ensuring that its devices are blazingly fast. Through the use of AI and machine learning in its EMUI software, so the phone learns which apps you use the most and tries to open them faster, and we found it works. Memory-wise, the P30 Pro includes the default 8GB of RAM, and it's plenty, enabling apps to remain in their saved states for extended periods without reloading. Storage is plentiful too, ranging from 128 to 256GB and 512GB. The P30 Pro camera setup is the strongest aspect with a quad camera system, which offers a 5x optical zoom, 10x hybrid zoom, and huge 50x digital zoom. This is phenomenal for capturing details in the distance, allowing you to zoom into architectural features on the opposite side of the street with crystal clear quality. Elsewhere, the P30 Pro packs in the features you'd expect from a modern flagship phone, including in-display fingerprint scanner, wireless charging, and a decent-sized battery. To conclude, the P30 Pro not only sets a new standard for Huawei, it sets a new standard for the entire mobile industry. Its four rear cameras are quite simply astonishing, the design is eye-catching and the power plentiful. It's a true flagship smartphone and we'd highly recommend it. At number one is the Moto G7. Motorola's latest lineup of budget-conscious Android phones includes the Moto G7 and is every bit what we've come to expect from a Motorola phone over the past few years. That is a high-end experience for a fraction of the price. Let's take a look. Design-wise, the premium look and feel of the phone is something that is normally reserved for Samsung or Apple's flagship lineup, with the phone costing three times that of the Moto G7. The back is curved at the edges, meaning it's easy to get a comfortable grip on a device that boasts a 6.2-inch display. In addition, on the back of the phone is the familiar Motorola logo, which doubles as the fingerprint sensor. Just above that is a 12-megapixel and 5-megapixel dual-camera system, encompassed in a circle bump. On top of the phone is where you'll find the SIM card and the micro SD card tray. You can top up the 64 gigabyte of storage with another 512 gigabyte if you need more space. On to performance, it features a Qualcomm Snapdragon 632 chipset. And while that won't compete with flagship phones, we've found this to be powerful enough to do pretty much anything you needed to. 
That's paired with 4GB of RAM, which is more than capable of running all the apps and games we wanted it to. There are dual rear cameras, a 12-megapixel main camera, and a 5-megapixel depth camera. Whilst they won't compete with the likes of the Pixel 4 or iPhone XS, the Moto G7 cameras are impressive, especially considering they can shoot 4K video, portrait mode photos, and slow motion video. Overall, photos from the G7 have decent image quality. The battery had enough power to get through a normal day and included in the box with the G7 is a 15-watt turbo power wall adapter that Motorola promises will provide 9 hours of battery with just 15 minutes of charge time. To conclude, we can't think of another low-end smartphone line that's continued to push the boundaries of what a budget smartphone is and should be able to do. Motorola continues to blur the lines of budget and high-end without raising the end cost, and that's why it makes our list. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.